Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yes, and nice to meet with all of you. Uh, I am so grateful and uh, thankful and uh, honored uh, to stand before you uh, so that we can study the Word of God. And especially this time, we are going to start the studies uh, starting from the book of Matthew. Everyone, have you ever read the book of Matthew before? Yes. Yes. I think some of you are lying. I think you didn't read and uh, you are saying, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, but it's okay, because even that sin, Jesus washed it away, right? Yes. yes. Anyways, so we are going to start this time with the book of Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter 1. I would like to first start off this study by reading uh, the verses starting from Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, up to 17. Verse 1, the book of genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham, Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. Judah begot Perez, and Zerah by Tamar. Perez begot Hezron, and Hezron begot Ram. Ram begot Aminadab, Aminadab begot Nashon, and Nashon begot Solomon. Solomon begot Boaz by Rahab. Boaz begot Obed by Ruth, so Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David the king, and David the king begot Solomon by her, who had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon begot Rehoboam, Rehoboam begot Abijah, and Abijah begot Asha, Asa begot Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat begot Zoram, and Zoram begot Uzziah, Uzziah begot Jotham, Jotham begot Ahaz, Ahaz begot Hezekiah, Hezekiah begot Manasseh, Manasseh begot Ammon, and Ammon begot Josiah, and Josiah begot Jeconiah, and his brothers about the time, and they were carried away to Babylon. And after and they were brought to Babylon, and Jeconiah begot Shaltal, and Shaltal begot Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel begot Abud, and Abud begot Eliakim, and Eliakim begot uh, Azor, and Azor begot Zadok, and Zadok begot Akim, and Akim begot Eliud, and Eliud begot Eleazar, Eleazar begot Mathan, and Mathan begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. And so all the gener uh, generations from Abraham to David are fourteen generations, from David until the captivity in Babylon are 14 generations, and from the captivity in Babylon until the Christ are 14 generations. Everyone, when you read Matthew chapter 1, you always have to go through this genealogy of Jesus, right? Yes. Some people, those who have never read the Bible, when they first open the Bible, they tend to first read from the book of Matthew. Now, as they read, Somebody begat, somebody, somebody begat, somebody, somebody begat, somebody, somebody begat, somebody. And then you get so bored, and before you even come to verse 17, you want to close the Bible, right? Yes. Everyone, actually, this uh, book of uh, Matthew, they call it the book of the king. Everyone, do you know why they call it the book of king? Is there anyone who knows about that? Everyone, because king, he always uh, does the work with mouth. Is that right? Yes. So with the mouth, the king always just give order, give command, and the king, he doesn't work with hands, right? King, he always work with mouth. Now, the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, everything describes Jesus. Actually, in fact, the whole book of the 66 books of the Bible is about Jesus. However, especially the book of Matthew, it is de describing Jesus who came to this earth as a king. That's why compared to any other books in the New Testament, in the book of Matthew, there are a lot of words that are spoken by Jesus. There is a lot of work which is done by the word of Jesus. So, if you want to listen to the sermon of Jesus, if you want to listen to the word of Jesus, then open the book of Matthew. And if you read along, then you will listen to a lot of sermons and the word of Jesus. So mainly, the book of Matthew is focusing on how Jesus he has done through his mouth, through the word. 
Everyone, that is very similar to how God has been doing the work, right? Yes. yes, in the beginning, when God created this earth, this earth was without form, void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Then God said, let there be light, and he was so. Is that right? Yes, yes. God, he also worked through the word. Also, Jesus, he did the work through the word. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Ever many people, they struggle to come out of darkness by themselves. I'm a pastor, right? I meet many brothers and sisters. Some brothers and sisters, they come to me and they talk about their difficulties and their darkness. And they ask for help. One of them, a couple of them, they ask me like this. Pastor, 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 in my heart, I am filled with hatred. I don't know why my heart is like that. Some people, they come to me and ask, Pastor, 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 in my heart, I am filled with lust. I don't know what to do with this kind of a heart. Everyone, our hearts are filled with darkness. However, when the Word of God comes inside of us, and the Word tells us today, let there be light, and there was nice. light. It's not that we have to do something. It's not that I have to try to fight with the darkness. If I only receive the word the way it is inside of my heart, let there be light, and there was light. Let there be light, in other words, it means the darkness had disappeared from the earth. That's what it means. Is that true? Yes. Everyone, whenever God, He works, God, He worked through the word. Also, the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew is described as the book of King. Why? Because the book of Matthew is describing how Jesus, he worked like a king through the word, by speaking the word, by preaching the word. That's why whenever you want to listen to his sermon, just open the book of Matthew. Read down the book of Matthew. Then you are able to listen to the sermon and the word of Jesus. As we start the book of Matthew, it starts with genealogy of Jesus. Beget, 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 beget. Everyone, in the world of Jesus, there is only beget, 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 and beget. There is only joy, happiness, thankfulness. True joy is in Jesus. However, if there is a genealogy of Jesus in the opposite, what is also there? The genealogy of mankind, Adam. Everyone, genealogy of Jesus, genealogy of Adam is completely different. Genealogy of the word, genealogy of the flesh is completely different. Because many people do not understand about this, that's why they easily follow their fleshly desire. When I talk about fleshly desire, I am not only talking about worldly desire. I am not only talking about sexual desire, such things. I am talking about the world of I myself belongs to the world of flesh. Everyone, the world that belongs to Jesus, as you read from verse 1 to 17, there is only beget. Let us read verse 1, right? Yes. The book of genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. Judah begot Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Perez begot Hezron, and Hezron begot Ram. Ram begot Aminadab, Aminadab begot Nashon, and Nashon begot Salmon. Salmon begot uh, Boaz by Rahab. Boaz begat Obed by Ruth, so Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David the king. Continuously, it is talking about begat, 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 begat. In the world of Jesus, there is only begat. There is no death. In other words, there is only light. There is no darkness. There is only joy. There is no misery. Everyone, then you can easily think about it. Today, I don't know who is watching this uh, in a book of Matthew lesson. 
However, if you are in misery, if you are in difficulties, if you are in sadness, it means right now you are out of Jesus. Everyone, out of Jesus, there is only sadness, there is only difficulties, there is only suffering. Let us take a look how the genealogy of the flesh, the genealogy of Adam seems like. Let us open to the book of Genesis chapter 5. Let us open to the book of Genesis chapter 5. Starting from verse 1, it says, This is the book of the genealogy of Adam. In the day that God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. He created them male and female, and blessed them, and called them mankind in the day they were created. And Adam lived 130 years, and begot a son in his own likeness, after his image, and named him Seth. After he begot Seth, the days of Adam were 800 years, and he had sons and daughters. So all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Verse 6, Seth lived 105 years, and begot Enosh. After he begot Enosh, Seth lived 807 years, and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. Verse 9, Enosh lived 90 years and begot Canaan. After he begat Canaan, Enosh lived 815 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. Canaan lived 70 years and begot Malalel. After he begot Malalel, Canaan lived 840 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Canaan were 910 years and he died. Everyone, the whole chapter of Genesis chapter 5 is talking about the genealogy of Adam. Inside the genealogy of Adam, yes, he begat. Yes, they were born. Yes, there was the news of joy and happiness, right? Yes. But not only having the news of joy and happiness, but there was also what? Death. Even in the beginning, it seems like the world of Adam. World of Adam, it seems like it is starting with the joy and happiness. But then in the end, it always ends with death. Adam begot Seth and lived how many years and died. So and so begat so and so and he lived and died. So and so begat whom and lived how many years and died. Everyone, that is the life that belongs to the flesh. Everyone, many people in the world, they're so joyful and happy enjoying the world, right? But end of their life is what? It's only death. But because the people do not understand that, they are not trying to learn about the true word of God. They are not interested in learning the truth. They are just uh, enjoying, indulged into the joy of the world. Without even understanding and knowing that end of their life is death. Everyone, the world of the flesh is like that. world of Adam is like that. It may seem like it is starting with joy and happiness making a lot of money, enjoying the life. However, this Genesis chapter 5 is teaching us how the life which belongs to flesh is only death. Even through the word of the Bible, we need to accurately learn how to come out of this flesh and enter inside the word of God. Say my amen. amen. Yes, if you are not in the world of Jesus accurately and clearly, then no matter what kind of joyful and thankful and happy life that you may live right now, one thing that you have to accurately realize is that in the end of that life is only death. Your name will also be in the book of Genesis chapter 5. Beget and died. Beget and died. Beget and died. Beget and died. Everyone, until when are you going to dwell in Genesis chapter 5? 
Everyone, if you are still dwelling upon Genesis chapter 5, even today, you need to come to the Word and change into light. Come back into Jesus. Return to Jesus so that in your life, there is only beget, 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 beget. Many people do not know about this. That's why, although they are inside the flesh, they're just enjoying themselves without knowing that it ends with death. Let us open to the book of Romans chapter 8. It is clearly showing us what is the end result of the life of following our flesh. Starting from verse 5. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can be. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through he is the Spirit who dwells in you. Verse 12, Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, uh, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Everyone, Romans chapter 8 is accurately teaching us what is the end result of belonging to flesh. What is the end result of belonging to Genesis chapter 5? The genealogy of Adam. Everyone, do you understand what I mean? Yes. Everyone, Romans chapter 8 verse 5 is clearly teaching us if we belong to flesh, what is going to happen to us. Everyone, as I was listening to this word, this word just came inside of my heart the way it is. The Bible says, uh, verse 6, for to be carnally minded. In other words, for to be fleshly minded is death. Even if the Bible says uh, fleshly minded is death, is it death or not? Although the Bible is teaching us and telling us fleshly minded is death. But they say, oh, I guess the fleshly minded is death. And then from then on, they don't even try to understand then how can they save their life and come out of death? How to come out of Genesis chapter 5 of genealogy of Adam and belong to Matthew chapter 1, genealogy of Jesus? People don't try to understand and try to find out from the Bible. Why? Because this word, death, does not come inside of their heart the way it is. By the grace and the blessings of God, as I was listening to this word, this word was able to come inside of me the way it is. Saying, for to be carnally minded is a death. Ah, if I follow my flesh, then I will die. Ah, and the result is going to be death. When that heart came inside of me, I could no longer just sit down, knowing that I belong to flesh. I went to the pastor, I went to church, and then I revealed myself, Pastor, Pastor, I also belong to carnally mind. I belong to flesh. But then the Bible is telling me that carnally minded is death. Soon the death is waiting for me. I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? Please guide me through the word. Please teach me through the word. And by the teaching of the accurate word of God, I was able to clearly and accurately learn how I should come out from Genesis chapter 5, the genealogy of Adam, and enter into the genealogy of Jesus in the book of Matthew chapter 1. In genealogy of Jesus, yes, it does not mean that there is no problem. There are problems. 
You understand, right? Yes. yes. But then it always only ends with a beget, 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 beget. You understand, right? Yes. When you look at Genesis chapter 1, it says, God, he always, the, the day started with the evening, right? And the morning came and it was the second day. And it was the evening and the morning came, it was the third day. There was an evening and the morning came and it was a fourth day. When you look at the creation of Jesus, it always started with evening. It always started with the darkness. However, in the genealogy of Jesus, it doesn't only end in darkness. Say my amen. amen. Yes, it always ends with light. It always ends with the sunlight. It always ends with hope and thankfulness. Amen. Is that true? Yes. yes. Everyone, you have to think about it clearly. Right now, are you struggling in life to have sadness and difficulties and you don't know how to come out of it? Everyone, it means it is because so you belong to Genesis chapter 5, the genealogy of Adam. If you are in darkness, then you have to learn clearly how you can be moved from Genesis chapter 5 to Matthew chapter 1. As we study the book of Matthew, I am planning to talk about how you can move from the genealogy of Adam, the genealogy of flesh, back to the genealogy of Jesus, where there is life. Everyone, through this, by studying this book of Matthew, I hope all of you can move from the genealogy of Adam to the genealogy of Jesus, where there is a beget, where there is only ends with beget, where there is only beget in your life, where there is only hope in your life, there is only joy in your life, there is only thankfulness and happiness in your life. Everyone, that life is uncomparable with the joy and happiness that you get from money. That joy and happiness is uncomparable with the joy and thankfulness that you get from the materialistic world. I hope as we study the book of Matthew, all of you can move from Genesis chapter 5, the genealogy of Adam to the genealogy of Jesus Christ, where there is true life. As we continue, I am going to be speaking about that. Thank you very much, and I'll end my session here today. Thank you very much.